All right, I'm doing it. You guys can see everything. Uh huh. Bordering. Broadering. Oh, oops. Okay, starting. Can you guys hear it fine too? Hey, Half Life One. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN oh. recruitment facility. Please watch your step train? when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please I have proceed a... to the grav shafts. So this is my pivot, which is something I could do with my mouse. So I might want to change my controls. Because uh, if... Um... Okay. Slide left is Z or C. Z or C for Americans. Uh, that's probably going to be really awkward. So yes, I will change that. Uh, okay. Slide left is now A. Can I not change it to A? Bind? There we go. There we go. Slide right, bind, D. And so then turn left, I'll change to what those were. Right? Is that. That makes sense? Walk forward. W, right? Run forward. What? Let me test this out. <laughs> so I'm running now. I guess I don't really need to walk if I can, if I just have run being my default, right? Um, look up. Shit I can do with my mouse. Center view V. Interesting. Uh, lean left. Q, that makes sense. Lean right. Why would it not be E? Lean forward. What the hell? What? <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever need that. Jump spit. Oh, I guess I'll come back to this if there's something I fucking can't figure out. Um, crouch. Crouch should be C though, right? Wait a minute. Oh, walk backward is X? Okay, so right. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I want my walk backward, not cr so I want crouch to be C. C is now oof. So I need to put mm, my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um sorry. <laughs> Their default controls are just so strange. Okay, so I want my um my turn right to instead be X. I don't know why it doesn't show up as X. I thought I hit X. I don't know why it still says C. Um, and then I want my uh, walk backward to be S. Yeah. Um, and then my crouch to be C. There we go. Jump is fine. Weapon setting? Mm -hmm. um. <clears throat> Reload R. Perfect. Map M. Perfect. Uh, attack. Use item. Mm. Weird. Inventory I or mouse 3. Hold crouch. Um. Slide on. What? Speed toggle. I'm so confused. They're so... Oh, like, what the? Oh, what? Wow. Okay. Quick save. That's interesting. Um, I wonder if I could, uh, I could just do, uh, sorry, <laughs> fusion cannon, grenade launcher. Oh, my God. It's just spoilers for all the, all the weapons I'm going to get. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna have to play the fucking game.
Oh my god. Quick save. Alt plus S. S plus Alt. I could do. Let's do. Uh, I could do. Option S. Because I'm using like. A Mac or whatever. Oh. Okay. It's, it counts as Alt anyway. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. Holy shit. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Oh my god. The beginning of this playthrough is going to be so boring for everyone on YouTube. This makes sense. This makes sense. Crouch. Oh my god. My run... <laughs> my... What would normally make me run in a game, holding shift and, and W is actually making me walk. I kind of want to change that real quick, because that's just really awkward. Even if... Even if it might be a... Uh... Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Everything's so weird. Um, walk forward is empty. Okay, never mind. Fucking whatever. I'm never gonna need to like. I can just I can just hold this and I'm running. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Okay. Okay. I don't know if I want to. What's my E? Cause I wouldn't I wouldn't mind like interact being E. Walking is for sneaking? Okay. Step into the grav shaft to proceed to the street level recruitment. Grav shaft. Woo! That's some grav shaft. Oh, cool. Happy Noodle! Try Optimum. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Meh! <laughs> Wait, this is basic, right? Yeah, okay, good. To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get ah. to pick up some basic <laughs> okay. skills you'll need to get by in the service. Welcome training. Ah, fuck, I didn't our virtual training courses. I didn't know it would stop your dialogue. You simulated cyber interface. Oh. This training interface is identical to an actual military grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? Oh. That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode where you can use oh. your mouse to interact with items in the world. Oh, very Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. Um... This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready oh. to continue, press the tab key to go back to Oh shoot my mode. god, this is complicated. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. Sorry, cha Change modes? I've... I, uh... Ah! PDA and a key card. Very interesting. So if I take out my key card and I click on it... No, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so... Um... Oh! Okay, there's... This is me changing between, so... Strength, endurance, and then... Oh. Standard. Okay, skill not learned. So I'm, this is basically... I can, like, upgrade and shit. Kind of like Deus Ex, I guess. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. <laughs> oh. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your invent, to use items <laughs> like buttons and Fuck! computers, center them. I shouldn't in your walk away until he's. Ah. Oh, right to you. How do I All view my inventory, you piece of shit? Okay, there we go. Highlight the button on the pillar and right click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. The pillar. If you can still see your inventory oh. display, it means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot mode. Um. That didn't work out.
I'm a ghost! Am I supposed to be up there? The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your Where hit are my points hit points? Are displayed by a bar oh. in the lower left corner of your screen. Oh, there we go. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right clicking on them. What do my bottle of juice do? Those are just things I can eat for health. See the crate in front of you? To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an item from that container, simply left click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and hmm. return to shoot mode, press the tab key. Okay, um, guess I'm gonna... What? Do I have to drag it on my... I don't know what this does. What? <laughs> what? One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Currently, the contents of your PDA are empty. Now, pick up the audio log in front of you. Okay. There we go. I can press U to play it. Oh god, this is so fucking weird. This is I've I haven't played a game this complicated in a while. And I don't know like back in the day this wouldn't even seem like too out of the ordinary. <laughs> um Alright, so you to you can play the audio log. This message okay. is coming from the audio log you just picked up. You can use your PDA at any time to play any audio log or email you've received. In the field, the PDA is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. It's so crazy hearing a game that understands proper English now, like seeing text on a screen and and having faith that the the punctuation and grammar is like acceptable. Uh, yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, right after right after playing Morphine, press F to to shoot up the school game. Oh God. Okay. Um. Uh, I, I, I didn't have an option for subtitles. It would have been great to have subtitles here. Uh, if anybody knows how to put them on, then great. But I don't think there's a way. So, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna save the game right now. <laughs> Just in case, because I know, I know old fucking games are like really unforgiving in terms of like this might not even have checkpoint now system because it has a quick save why would it link. to jump simply press the space bar some surfaces can be mantled onto by holding down the space bar oh yeah Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high oh my god in front it's of amazing you. give it a try i did to climb a ladder simply walk into it and look upward you'll automatically start climbing the ladder crazy. That shit cray. Ah! You've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you Control wish. What? Yeah, I don't think so. Control ex escape would do something else. Alt F4. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> You just gotta delete system 32. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced yeah, basic lessons bitch. provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. But not really. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Approach the Cyberlink booth of your choice to train in that area. When you finish training in the three areas, proceed directly to the recruitment center to choose and start 
your military career. Okay. This is interesting. I'm digging it so far. Um, if you guys want, I can turn up the volume. Um, but I, I don't want to be in a situation where, like, a loud part of the game is going to be too loud sort of thing. So why don't I, why don't I, uh, why don't I just check the uh, recording right now? And I'll decide for myself whether or not it needs to be turned up. So give me give me two seconds. Because there's no subtitles. We might as well try to make it perfect, right? So BRB. All right, we're back. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the volume. And I'm almost worried it'll be too loud later, but we'll see. I can always All right, check. wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes oh, yeah. to even think wait. about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few good men. Good I'm, to have uh, you on intrigued board. You'll notice when game. you're in the Cyberlink booth, the UNN has kindly provided you with a virtual cyber interface and all the simulated skill levels you'll need for the training tasks. But don't get too cocky. They'll disappear once you leave the booth. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. 2 if is the my pistol. pistol. Was in your inventory, it will equip for yeah, you automatically. I would rather do that. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how its health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharge the dummy. station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy based like items. Himself? Weapons, batteries, oh. you name it. Yeah, I guess. I guess the guy talking on the intercom is not necessarily this dude. Let him shoot. Alright, so there's kickback. So used to pressing like E for. Okay. Laser pistol. What did he say about charging it? I'm gonna replay this shit. I love that. I love Some that they can replay it. Charge with okay. energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Oh, here. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy-based items, weapons, batteries. Carry. Energy-based items. Okay, that's fucking cool. I'm digging this so far. Weapons are not fine wines. They this. do not get better with age. Done anything. The colored dot on the lower right corner <gasps> of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Oh. Green is good. Red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Okay. Remember. That maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Okay. Bam. Unload is, is an option. To take up like a full. Okay, so that's oh, that's under equipped, and then if I okay, so it basically swaps it out like that. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, back in shoot mode. Disposable. Okay, I got another one, but I don't think I get to keep any of these items. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. They might just come in handy. I will look at the other training areas in a second, but I'm gonna go back to basic training and get more like fucking health. Welcome, training. Because I know that they virtual training give away courses, health here. We right? provide so. you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical up. to an actual military-grade cyber interface. 
Now, let's try oh, it out. Fuck. Move oh, I should have used the chips See and... How it oh, wait, where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Okay, medical hypo. Hit the tab key. Doing it. This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open yeah, your primary MFD, or multifunction display, there you go. by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. Alright, oh my god. This shows your strengths in various areas. I think I'm when full health. To continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. I love how they have different Try sound effects. Try changing between modes until you get the hang. Uh, things that you can the red eat. path along the ground. You've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. All right, this Inside, one we'll teach you the basics technical. of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. Ah. Man, I'm not even sure I'll get past the well, prologue before I gotta go. <laughs> you'll notice when you're in the Cyberlink booth, we'll provide booth. you with a temporary cyber interface and the skills you need to accomplish the training tasks. The booth. But they'll only last so long as you're in the booth. I've never played this before. And I'm enjoying it already. I'm very uh, excited about it. A button? A button. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was reading the text at the very top. It's like, A button? I'll press A. No, that's not. Okay. Um, the object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container Ooh. of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory. Oh, they go. They are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Move okay. Over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Because I'd have to be in use mode to do any of the hacking anyway. Use the keypad by right clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled hack. Left okay. click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. 50. Skill. Click on the start button to begin hacking. 30. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. What? You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Oh fuck, can I just open it again? Wait a minute. Now can I just go in? Okay, well. I wonder, is like, in the actual game, will I have to, like, run through doors immediately and not be able to open them again once I've already hacked them? Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. Yeah. So to I'm just going to hear what he said pad, about... Um... You'll see an orange tab labeled hack. Left-click on the tab. Yeah. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Yeah, Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. Yeah. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Yeah. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. I don't understand that you part. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. So if... If this one right here turns dark, then I fail the hack. But how does it turn dark? Like when I click on them, they turn either dark or bright. So I know. So like, I'm so confused. I need to. I need to hear that one more time because this, this is a little right confusing. On it. Sorry, guys. To the right of the I just pad, want to make sure I fully understand this. Hack. I did update the stream Text title in game. Be, you should refresh. Hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Uh -huh. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. Oh, okay. So if I don't click on this hack, one... You must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the so hack... So if I don't click those, the item you're working on or then worse. I'm... You can restart your hack attempt good. at any time by hitting the reset button. Okay. you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. If I never... Okay, that makes sense, kind of. Um... Oh. Well, I do. I do have very good vision. Um, so okay, well, now I just got to do it one more time so I can actually go through the door because I keep forgetting to do that shit. There we go. Ugh. 
It's not gonna lock me in here, is it? Okay. The door gonna close? Okay. Is that just part of training, or will doors stay open? Like... Okay. Nanites. You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. To use a replicator, right-click on it. Then what are my max on the item nanites? You wish to purchase. Replicator. The item you purchase will drop into the slot below. Hi there. Make Please sure you make pick your up your selection. purchases before you leave. Please make your selection. Hi there. Hi there. Please make your selection. Hi there. Please make your selection. Sorry. Okay. Um. Sure. Thank I can... you for choosing value wrap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Oh, I can hack it. Ah. Oh, so I. Reinitialized. This is it's very strange. Thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing value wrap. I'm so confused. Hi there. Hi Sorry. There. Please make your Please selection. Make your selection. Very interesting. Bullets. I don't really need any health right now. Anti-personnel bullets. Nothing personnel, kid. Okay, I don't think I get to keep any of these items. I wonder if I keep nanites after this level. If so, I should just fucking stock up. So I have 142. Let's see if that stays consistent after exiting here. You learned the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking. Oh my god! Thank you, sub hype. I'm not try out the a other stars courses. fan. Thank you so That'll much. Be useful. I just want to see if uh, if I go into this world, I can. I just want to see if my nanites. Okay, I'm at zero nanites again. So, okay, exiting. I'm fed up with this world. Okay. There's no point stocking up on anything. My health was improved, but now I'm at max. So wait. Inside, you will learn how to oh, reach out with your mind. Do not let fear block your path. Uh-oh. What is this again? Psy skills. Open Gundam style. Okay. Kill me. We've provided you with a virtual interface and the temporary ability to project simulated psionic powers. Once you leave this area, the red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many psi points you have. Oh, those are okay. I was just about to ask the about the red bar. Ability to use your psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your psi points. My psipos. Try using a psi hypo and watch your psi points increase. <laughs> when you've reached your maximum right. in psi points, move to the next station. Oh. This game's so fucking cool. Um. This psi app amplifies your psi powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up, and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy Amp activates your currently selected Psy Discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, Cryokinesis and Kinetic Redirection. Go into Use Mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. Do you have a hotkey This key will for that? cycle through your available Psy Disciplines. Later, yeah, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psy Disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and kinetic redirection I'm so to pull confused. that nanite container towards you. I'm gonna have to listen Be to careful. this whole fucking thing again. Holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of psi points, use another psi hypo. I'm gonna have to listen to this again. Ah! This psi amp amplifies your psi powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up, and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy Amp activates your currently selected ah. Psy Discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, Cryokinesis and Kinetic Redirection. Go into Use Mode, and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. Um. This will cycle through your oh. available Psy Disciplines. Okay. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left, 
will allow you to select Psy disciplines from higher tiers. Oh. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot Cry and kinetic redirection so pull to pull that for... nanite container towards you. Okay. Be careful. Holding down the mouse okay, button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of Psy points, use another Psy-Typo. Sweet. This is getting cool. Um, so I want to... My god, there's... I wish there was a hotkey for that shit. <laughs> this is fucking cool. Hey! Nanites! What about this shit? What is this? Nanites! This is very strange. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment. Here's where oh, you fuck off! Choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, <gasps> there's no going back. Oh! The shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. What does OSA stand for again? Oh my god. Um, what does OSA stand for? Um, I'm leaning towards Navy because I'm a big faggot. Um... Nobody knows what OSA stands for? Uh, no one's... That was like Special Ops? Okay, does it really matter? Is it gonna like influence my game? Um, oh, it's for Psy users? Uh, I think Navy. I think I'm just gonna. The Navy seems like a safe bet. It's right in front of me, you know? I really don't know. Like, like, Marines. I kind of want to be combat based, but it, would the Navy not also be kind of combat based in a way? Ugh. I don't know. Uh, Art Vandalay212. If that's a spoiler, uh, then we're gonna either need to time out or ban because the rules in the chat say no spoilers, so please don't spoil it. All right, well, I'm in the Navy now. I'm a gay boy. What? Okay. Welcome aboard the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. It's up to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle bay to receive I... a briefing on a posting. <laughs> There's so many if options! If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know what kind of effect this will have on my overall game. This is very strange. Like so many ways to play this fucking game, I guess. Like I don't even really know if it had to, if it to, like I don't know. I have no fucking idea. No fucking idea. I'm digging it though. Ah. Oh my god. Ships Ops. Engineer's Mate. 
or military police? Military police doesn't sound bad. I don't know what ships... Operations, I guess. Um, a game that is 100% better on the second playthrough? Okay, yeah, maybe. Um, trying to decide between these two. Lucille Engineer's mate. I don't know what that really means. I'm just going to go military, please. Ugh! I can't! These the decisions... The Lucille is looking for volunteers for their military police detachment. Those sailors can get pretty rowdy on these year-long cruises. So you better not oh, be afraid of explaining. a tussle. Okay, what about this? The UNN Lucille is looking for an engineer's mate to help maintain the ship's core energy systems. There's some heavy lifting involved, sailor. But yeah. you'll learn your way around the high-tech equipment. Eh. The UNN Lucille is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. You'll get your feet wet with the high-tech systems, but also expect some heavy lifting. Yeah. Military police is the sounds the least boring. The UNN Lucille is looking for volunteers for their military police detachment. Ah! One modify, one strength. Tour of duty abroad. The, okay, aboard the UNN Lucille has concluded. You've spent a productive year, though you didn't make a lot of friends between toughening up by putting drunken middies in the sick bay. You had plenty of downtime in the army. Twice. You've gained one modify and one strength. No! Two years later. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. The UNN Carfax is undertaking a mission to examine a newly discovered Class B comet approaching the outer solar system. You'll likely pick up some useful skills working with the high-tech navigation systems aboard this newly commissioned heavy cruiser. The UNN Pierce is ferrying liberated political prisoners back home from their detention near Saturn. The Pierce has been assigned a detachment of Marines and needs sailors to load, administer, and maintain the arms on board the ship. Mm -hmm. Laverne, Florida hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. While maybe not as respected as the Marines facility at Fort Bush, oh. there's a lot to be learned here. It even... It, the text up top tells me what I gained from it. I didn't even UNN fucking Pierce. notice that before. The UNN Carfax is undertaking Cyber a mission affinity, to examine maintenance, the UNN and standard Florida weapons. Hosts the I think standard weapons is probably school. what I want. Well, I, although I can't even see my own fucking Marines stats. I can't Bush. even go into uh, use mode and see my shit. But standard weapons, okay. Tour of duty at the Laverne Tactical Training School has concluded a year of firing ranges, mock boarding parties, and war games has done you good. You spent plenty of time with military grade pistols, assault rifles, and even auto shotguns. Awesome. I actually I I prefer um I'm I'm preferring the way that they're doing this upgrade system by kind of integrating it as part of the story. Cause I feel like I feel like it it it's developing my character in a way instead of just a you know instead of just like cl clicking buttons and oh my god he's doing the fucking macarena he's doing the macarena ah oh, don't stop look at that oh my god sub hype uh seven act 14 thank you very much um <laughs> As I was saying before I got distracted, um, it's I, I like uh, I like that it's integrating it as part of the story um, rather than just having like buttons. Because even though it doesn't show my entire like there's no cutscene showing the the year I spent in each of each of these things, it's still pretty cool just to have that as text, you know. The Navy's Mary research. Curie Research Facility on Aquinas 4 is currently conducting research on a new strain of spaceborne virus that killed 220,000 citizens ah. of New Atlanta. To lift the quarantine, we must determine how the virus pierced the city's micro nanite shielding. The Navy maintains Endurance. a survival training school on the surface of Io, the third moon of Jupiter. Pros? There's no better way to improve stamina and survival skills. Cons? The 21.2% mortality rate. I like endurance. Zero G training? The Navy Agility. strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero G training. A year at the Yamamoto Space Station in Earth's orbit will more than suffice. 
What do I want? Endurance or agility? Hmm. I think I want endurance. Ugh. It's so difficult. I gotta do it. Gotta not look back. Not look back. Jupiter. Don't look back. Rose, ah. 2114. Uh, your tour of duty at the IO Survival Training Facility has concluded. You managed to you managed to survive your year there, barely. The encounter with a descendant of a Citadel Station Tiger Mutants, fuck yeah, put you in the sick bay for a month. <laughs> My encounter with a descendant of a Citadel Station Tiger Mutant. It sounds like I fucked it. This this game understands me. I had sex with a tiger man, and then I got sick for a month. You've learned to respect the wonders of biogenetics and have trained your body to excellent physical condition. I got two endurance for fucking a tiger man. Watch out. Ah! I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to- Move! Take cover! I thought I was supposed to have a fourth ear. Oh. Shit, boys. Um. Alright. Um. Whoosh. I swear, those those creaking noise were used. Not that one, but the other one. That sound. It sounds identical to the the sound effect they used in uh, Frozen for the chairlift scene that I that I bastardized. Oh! Ow! Oh! Shit! I don't want—I don't want to get no sucky sucky from space. I just want it from the tiger. Access card picked up. Okay. Um. Okay. Wait. Many of your actions are now cyber enhanced. Your cyber in interface supports two modes: shoot, a minimal mode and use a more complex mode. Shoot mode. I already learned this. Like, why? What did I just do? Oh, that was a log. It was added to my PDA. New code. I could have just pressed you. To do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to four five one zero zero. That should be easy. easy enough to remember. Perfect. I don't even have to hack it. That's a stock scream. That's been used in like Eminem songs. Oh! I don't even know what this game's about, so that was strange to see. Like I didn't. I don't even know what the enemies look like. Decompression event imminent. Ah. Uh. Immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. Just in case I didn't get one earlier. I don't really need two wrenches. <laughs> cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power-driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. That should open the airlock door. Be quick about it. The vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. <laughs> I just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. 
You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig map the upgrade button. Units oh yeah, I haven't even area. used my map button. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic yeah, gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But it's basically where it was. Carefully. Upgrade sounds good. Hard to come by. Okay, there's an upgrade units. Buh. Icons on the lower left, you can place navigation markers on the map. With it, hitting the N key will mark your current position with a small triangle. This marker. This is fucking cool. Mini map. Oh. Why would I not want that? Does it show like enemies on my map? <laughs> Information about your character. Oh yeah, I should open that up, shouldn't I? Check out my MFD. Yeah, so I got two strength, three endurance, a little bit of cyanotics agility and cyber. All right, I guess I can upgrade as I go. Modify, maintain. Oof. Ah, my hacking skill is not even learned. Exotic. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh. I'm just a baby right now. I'm just a baby boy. Uh, nanites. But I can't even hack with them, can I? Cybernetic upgrade unit for basic abilities. Basic abilities. Strength two to three, cost eight. Oh, so these are net. So I have, I currently have 10 nanites. So I can't really, I might as well, wait a minute. I can get more strength, I can get more psi. Should probably get some agility, honestly. Oh, what? Oh, there's cyber modules. So I have four mod. Oh, oh, okay. So I have four. Okay, okay. Chances of successfully using the hack repair modify skills and also. What? Your chances. Dangerous nodes determines your movement speed and reduces your falling damage and weapon kickback. Determines your skill in using psionic devices, the ra duration, range, and damage inflicted by psionic. The psi. Yeah, I don't give a shit about my psi right now. Um, endurance determines your maximum hit points and your resistance to radiation. Well, I think I did a good job upgrading my endurance then. Uh, determines your inventory capacity. Oh shit, I guess I really want this. The amount of damage you inflict in hand to hand combat. All armor and some weapons have a minimum strength requirement. Oh shit! I want, really want to do my strength if that's health. I, I always fucking max out my health in games as much as I can. Uh, determines your movement speed. Okay. I might as you know what I have. I have the opportunity to upgrade something now, so I might as well just do that. I don't know. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna get more uh, modules, but I think. Uh, all right, so now I'm that definitely upgraded me, right? Okay, I got two agility, perfect. I'm a little bit faster, and I'll have less weapon kickback. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I could have upgraded my strength after all. Well, maybe I'll find another cyber module. Shit! Oh, oh, technical. Oh, oh, they're all different. Oh. Oh my god, there's so many different things I can upgrade. Ah. What the fuck? Oh my god. Ugh. Oh. 
heat draining projectile the target. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to need to pull an object towards me, but it did kind of, uh, you know, show up in my training, right? So, oh my god, advance, ugh. Oh. Ah! Help! I'm, ah, uh, there's too Oh my god. Oh, regenerates lost hit points. Two hit points per psi. That's not that many, but increases your strength by two. While it's active, I guess. Holy shit. So I have to unlock. So I have to use this 10 to even use anything here. Can I skip that and just use this 20? Two side points per use. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. The amount of damage you can inflict with standard weapons. Some standard weapons have a minimum skill requirement. Energy weapons and heavy weapons. I don't really... Because, I mean, upgrading my strength already affects my damage, too. So, hack... I need to... You know... Oh, fuck. I need a... I need some kind of hack or repair skill. But I don't have enough nodes to... Modules, sorry. To uh, upgrade them. Maybe I shouldn't have done agility. Ah! And I don't really think I can go back and save, so why don't I, uh... There, I just quick saved. Um, but yeah, I can't, uh, I don't think, uh... Let's see what my loads are. Yeah, literally just that. Auto save! Why don't I do a, why don't I do a real save and then I'll come back if, uh... Yeah. So I'm, oh wow, 45 minutes through it. Okay, so now I'm gonna I do a real save, now I'm gonna load my auto save and see where that takes me. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. Why not? It's I can do it from here. To... Move! Take cover. It wasn't, it wasn't that difficult. I can just do, I just gotta remember to click on everything. I know exactly what to do, and then I'll upgrade my hacking. Or my, uh... I don't even know, man! I don't know how important any of this shit is. Fuck it, you know what? No. I made my decision, I'm gonna go back to my regular save, and there'll be other opportunities in the game where I can upgrade shit, right? There'll be other opportunities. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do this again. Okay. I'm good. I'm gonna, you know, I learned my lesson. What did I just get? Oh, PDA? Sure. Hey, Doc. A security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. Nanites. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? So much going on in this fucking game. Okay. <laughs> if it turns out that I need to hack this shit, that'd be so funny. Computer hacking. Oh my god! But I can't hack, so maybe I do. I should go back. Because I don't have enough shit to... I don't even think I can hack. I don't have... Yeah, I need a skill one. So I have to go... I have to do it. Well, at least I got an autosave, right? I don't think I can, uh, yeah. I literally need to spend that on, uh, hacking skill, or else I can't progress through the game. <sighs> Press the button. Right? 
Yeah, I might have to just go back and do that shit. Yeah. Although there's here. The fact that there's the fact that there's a hacking terminal right there makes me really want to go back and get it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do exactly what I just said I wouldn't do. Fuck, I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna load my autosave. And we're just gonna Watch out. just gonna do it. I'm we're gonna do this quick. I'm sorry, but I need to find out what's behind there. What if there's more fucking? What if there's more uh uh modules? What if I can upgrade two three things because I chose hacking? You know? Because like I don't know when I'm when the other skills are gonna come into play. But I do know that I can use hacking right away. So won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it. Great. I've gotta change the access codes out of cryo A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to four five one zero zero. That should be easy enough to remember. I'm not that far behind. I don't need to look at her. Warning. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression ah. event imminent. Okay. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power driven devices in your possession. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. Oh. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your Can't cybernetic rig and the upgrade it. units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One yeah, I'm here already. That didn't take any fucking time at all. <laughs> I don't know why I... I, I know I took a long time to do it before. It's just like... They're hard to come by. <laughs> use them carefully, they're hard to come by. Jesus. It put the pressure on me. Like, I don't know why. I, I know I took a long time to get there. I was kind of like fucking dawdling around, wasn't I? Okay, so there's four. Plus four. It's eight. And then I found some more somewhere, right? So I used. So I have. There's got to be a way to have enough for hacking if there's a hackable terminal that you can't get past unless you hack it. Unless I'm supposed to find out the uh, code from somewhere and I'm not supposed to hack it. So why don't I why don't I save here? Sorry, I'm fucking neurotic as shit. Um, uh, and now I will go up the elevator and I'll see if there's any place because I need ten to do hacking, right? Correct. Let's see. I don't remember. Hack. Yeah, it costs 10. So I need two more. Um, I don't remember if I had that amount. So I saved. Um, and now uh, I'm going to see if, uh, if I can't. I need to right click the terminal and, to, and hit view source. I don't know what you're talking about. The fuck's that? Ah, oh, that. Ah, oh, this. <laughs> Fuck! Um. Ah, piss! Well, good thing I saved. I'm just gonna see if it's possible to jump there. Oh my god! Because it's like now. If now I know that if I had if, uh, if I used like the psychic. Pull, then I could grab that shit, right? Can I just jump and get it? First of all, I want to grab shit from her body. Yeah, there's my there's my psionic amplifier, right? And then if I use the nanos on that, what are those? I can't see what those are. Are those more? There's like a health thing, and I don't think I can jump to it. I think that's why they gave me that thing there. Um,
Ah! <laughs> Dead people everywhere. Access card. So maybe I don't need to hack anything. A window. Nanites. There we go. Psy Hypo. Reichfold Slugs. Now I'm just gonna... Okay, that was the same place. So now, let's see how much the uh, pull costs. It's, uh, it's required for first tier, so I can't even get... Can I jump to that shit? Sorry, I'm taking much longer than I should to... How's this? All right. Um, so I lost like three health by jump, or five health by jumping. So, um, uh, haters gonna hate, but uh, I'm loading my auto, sorry, my quick save. Because I don't want to lose health this early in the game when it's so fucking preventable. Okay. So, now we have solved some of the mystery. Um, and I'm gonna go up the elevator. Sorry, guys. There was, um, actually. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm so sorry! I don't know. This is, this is gonna be a difficult game for me. You don't get it. You don't understand me. Ooh, first one, drag weapon. Okay, I already know that. All right, picking shit up. Access card. So the access card is where I'll use on that hackable thing. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, Can somebody let me out? I can't find my card. Or I'll use it there. Please. Okay. Here. I'll use it. I'll go there last. Yeah. And there's nothing I can do about this unless I maybe want to like yeah. I don't want to lose my health. That room's right over there. So let's see if I can just get down to it over here. Can I just grab shit by jumping up? And... Nope. Oh! Oh, fuck! This is... This is funny. Oh, yeah! Got the bullets! Let's see if I can get the hypo. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, the booster! Woo! Oh yeah! Woo! -woo bye! Fuck yeah! Broke the game. All right. Uh, and then just want to make sure that I uh, <laughs> get everything here. Yeah, I can grab shit off this guy. Come on. There. Medical hypo. Uh. I'm gonna quick save. Sorry. There, quick save. Perfect. Um, ah, fuck, sorry. So we got like half an hour before my parents are gonna come pick me up. Um, uh, my mom sent me a text actually. 
Uh, just responding. Um, okay, we can search this. Oh, there's nanites. Yeah, didn't want to miss those. Oh, I didn't even need to do it through that door. I just walked over here. So here's a. So I guess I can't really use the. No, the key card doesn't really help me, right? Cryogenic center inside. So sure. Yeah, I can't. Uh, whatever's behind this door, I can't get it because I can't even upgrade to the hack level because I don't have enough uh, modules. So. Um, I don't even know if I honestly I feel like I feel like upgrading with the amount of modules that I have I have five I thought I had what happened to eight modules did I not have eight modules what happened to the other modules what am I on my s what the what the Am I on my save where I spent them on agility? How did that happen? What did I do? I'm so confused. I have two agility. When did that happen? I think I went back to the wrong fucking save. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I didn't... Oh, God damn it! Oh yeah, I got two agility from training, didn't I? No, I got two endurance from training. I never got agility from training. I had one... So now I have... I'm supposed to have eight modules, and now I have five. This is definitely the... How did that happen? Like, what the fuck did I do? What did I do? I went back to... One of my quick... Whatever, fucking Christ. Fucking Christ. I'm done. I hate my life. I'm just gonna go up there. Oh my god. How does that make any fucking sense, though? Because on my... On the... When I... There's clearly some... No. I, there's something that I didn't pick up. Because it doesn't make sense that I... That I... That I, um... It, it literally does not make any fucking sense that I would have, uh... spent anything on a module, because in that... When I did that, in that... In that save... That was one where I had already picked up stuff off of those other guys. But I did that here, and I didn't even influence... I didn't, like, go back a load or anything. There's some... There's gotta be fucking modules that I'm missing. There's, like, three modules that I'm missing, because I had eight that other time. What the fuck happened? I know it's the first... Don't! <laughs> this is how I play games! I'm so confused. Oh my god. There was like a... Did I break the thing upstairs with that guy? No, I did. No, I did. I'm missing modules. And I'm done here. Because I'm, like, I'm just pissed and fucked up. Nanites. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. I don't know why I don't have fucking eight. Oh! Your death card quiet. Ah! Hurry. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Ah! No! No! How do I? Ah! Ah! Fuck! I lost more health. No! Damn it! I'm sucking so hard already. Fuck! What was that? Betrays you. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my god. Can I use the soda can? Did that do anything? Fuck! Oh my god, I fucking suck. Old games are hard, man. I can't hack anything. Also, like, it, it fucking, it, it, it psychs me out so hard when I'm stuck in the different, um, view mode. Yeah, I can't do this shit. That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. Cool, but transfer. You can't use the elevator ah. to get Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too, if you're good enough. Ah. Don't botch the job, or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Your corpse is useless to Fuck! Me. How do I do this? Plants. This is not a good start. Is this a Ah You're not my friend? Fuck! I'm gonna die! Antitoxin. I would honestly rather, like, instead of adding any health, I would rather just fucking die, because, like, I feel like I could do this shit better. Or maybe I'm supposed to be, like, barely any health the entire fucking game. I'm supposed to just, like, destroy anything I see. Can they come through regular doors? <laughs> nice job. Many are strong. Should I even? I don't even. Do I have to? Uh oh. I heard that door. Yeah, he can open doors. Fuck! I suck. So I can. I'm literally gonna let them kill me. I don't feel like wasting my fucking health. You know? Can I crouch jump? Like, I feel like I should just be getting better at the shit that I clearly suck at. Like, I'm just kind of fucking lost right now, too. What is this? Research, research software. Like, if I can't... If I can't enter a, a fight without guaranteed losing health, then I'm doing something wrong, right? I should theoretically be able to kill a single enemy, you know, without losing health. That should be that should be within the realm of possibilities. Liquor. Oh. Oh, so desks have shit in them. So I'll, I'll listen to the log in a second. I just want to make sure there's no fuckboys. Ah. Our eyes are open. So it's about like sneaking up on them or whatever, like. Ah. Oh, that face. Yeah, I'm gonna want to do all this shit again. I'm just gonna look at my text. Okay, uh, my parents want to call me, so, um, 
I'm gonna just step outside the room and get in a phone call with them and figure out uh, what they're doing. So, uh, give me a sec. What the? Will this kill me? Ah! Okay. <laughs> that answered my question. <laughs> okay. No oh, game. Alright. It's from my quick save, right? Is it the is my is my quick save the the bottom one? Let's see how many five? What if what is my quick save this one? They're both the same, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into a phone call, so BRB.